my adorable Scorpios. How are you? Thank you so much for coming back in and joining me on this channel. <clears throat> I'm doing a weekend reading for you. And um, I would do more, but my for some reason, my phones have not been wanting to keep a charge, which means I can't upload. So I thank you for your prayers of... Um, to break any kind of a interference on my behalf as well. So I could do the spiritual work to bring you the information the guides are presenting to me for you. I thank you for tapping into me for the channel, for providing blessings, um, ordering your personal readings. You can do that in the box below. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who's given a gift to my channel as well. You know what? That's like bread and butter for us really helps us. People misunderstand and think that we make a whole bunch of money. Not really. Not at all, matter of fact. Um, it's it's underappreciated work, I will say that, for sure, Scorpio. But we're rocking with God, and we're doing the best we can, even through mockery, even through hideous people and awful things that they do. Scorpios, we're still holding on because, well, we're Scorpios, man. We're going we're gonna to do it, whether you like us or not. <laughs> Scorpio, you're coming from the heart this weekend. You're being guided by spirit guides this weekend to open your heart. There's something coming through your heart this weekend. 17 is healing and hope. And here's the spirit guides. 25 adds up to 7. That means you're not walking alone through this journey. And this is like um, the crown chakra, the mind, the heart and the mind. Temperance, honey. <laughs> That's really nice. You know, one is a new start. Seven is a divine. So you're really tapping in through your heart to the divine. And it's reading your Akashic records for you. Resetting your vibrations and understandings. This weekend's going to be nice for you. I, I do believe so. The scripture I got for you because Scorpios love God. Jeremiah 29, 11. <clears throat> We've heard it a thousand times. Let's hear it again. God says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. That's what that discipline is about. It's about getting in line so that you get in alignment with your true future also. All right. Give me a second. Let me do the clearing. Spirit, thank you so much for your presence, Holy Spirit. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for love. Thank you for even practical practical, practical wisdom. You know, we need more of that. It's not all frou-frou. It's discipline. And I'm calling in, the, calling in the holy fire for the Scorpios and for myself and my business. Anyone sending black magic, negative energy, evil eye, Jealousy, hatred, low vibrational thoughts, um, anything to stop someone's business or to stop them from growing. You are condemned and it will be sent right back to you until you repent. We just, we send it all back right away. Return to sender most high. Return to sender. Look at that flame still going. That means that somebody's still doing work on you. And you need to be deeply in your prayer meditation and calling on the ancestors and the Holy Spirit and Archangel Michael. Go and fight our battles for us so that we can be in peace and prosper with the Most High. As above, so below. Anything and everything unholy has got to go. And so it is, Scorpio. And so it is. Thank you for joining me on this channel. Let's see what the uh, energies have for you. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm going to be using the Lenormans, I think, because when I first started your channel, I was using these, and I think you guys like that. These are um, these used to be very popular in, like, the 1700s. People would use these Lenormand cards to do street readings. They would just be out and having lunch and uh, <laughs> out having lunch with somebody and pull out their little pocket cards and, this is the deck. I love this deck. Gilded Reverie Lenormand. This is by Ciro Machete. And everything he makes is absolutely fabulous. If you're a reader, you will know what I mean. Show me Scorpio's energy this weekend. What shows up for Scorpio? Just lay me out a story. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node. Know that cross watchers are welcome. Know that the readings are not gender specific. 
unless they come out that way, like a divine masculine. <sighs> oh, nice start. Wow. And um, take what you need and leave the rest, my babies. Only take what really applies. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. Are you listening? Are you listening? Disabled officer. All my other masculine Scorpios, are you ready? God's opening you up. He's causing you to have an opportunity and opening to cross a difficult situation into a better situation for yourself. As long as you are in a noble status, you're making very wise decisions. You're holding back and being patient. You're holding love space for someone. You're holding yourself together. You've got your home. You've got um, your arm. The, the, his sleeves are rolled up, which means he's ready to do the work, ready to put in the work. His feet are bare, which tells me, Scorpio, that this person, whoever, whether that's you or someone else, um, is doesn't have any secrets. There's nothing to hide right? There's no secrets. The divine offers, this adds up to 11, divine offers a, a miracle so this person can ascend and maybe find their queen and move up this ladder. And there has to be a decision made. This is rising of ascension. This is raising of vibration. Spirit, you just loving that Scorpio, aren't you? Here we go. Loving my Scorpios. Yes, we are. Thank you for liking the video, you guys. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, 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 but first, you got to come and tell somebody something so you can get that ascension. So they got to go cut somebody off or something's got to be cut off. Explain to me, spirit. Excuse me on this camera. I'm trying so hard to get it perfect. Scorps, sorry. Here we go. So somebody has to cut something off. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They have to open their mouth and say something. They got to cut something or someone out. Or they did already. They cut out a Jezebel. They got rid of a Jezebel. Yeah. Now what does that mean to you? What's the outcome of that? Where do they stand with this Jezebel energy? No compromise. They ended that, 21. Somebody ended that. They, they ended that. Why did they end it? Because I think they got right with God. That's what I think. Tell me about this ending. The fox. Somebody was sneaking around. And I think this person. And it caused this person to really have a problem. An attitude problem. So they went to God. The tree of life. This person went to God. And made a decision. And they made a decision with their heart. It's seven of cups. Yes. And they were guided to do so. And it's a transcendence. It's a transcendence. It's a complete turnaround. It's something different. Yeah. Yeah. They used to be a player. They used to come and visit people and hang out with them late at night and maybe get a little bit of nookie and then they would leave this person. Could be you, it could be them. And this person that they were with thought they were a fucking snake and of course they were when they were in that energy and this chapter had to close. So someone's got to close the chapter with someone. But see, the person they want to close the chapter with is an ascended master, a divine feminine. They're missing her terribly. There's three tens, ten, ten, ten. They want to get a new start and get wish fulfillment, but because she's already abundant, she's already got a new start. She's taken off and found herself. Yeah, somebody misses somebody. Could be a Cancer or Pisces, but uh, this is ascended master. This is somebody whose heart has been opened and they're on the new path. The one that did wrong um, is being left with the bullshit that they tried to pull on you. And that's that God is um, not allowing people to be drawn to that person. They've got bad luck on them. This is not a good cross. This is uh, somebody who is in trouble. And it's the King of Wands energy. It's the Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, they ran out of time, Spirit says. And you're getting a commitment. You're getting something. Yeah, look at that. The guides are following. The angels are following you for this commitment. And then the person that hurts you is getting lost. They're desperate. They, they're they angry. They can't get to you anymore. They're not healing. And you're a star. Grounded and healed. Look at this. Soulmate. Being guided on your true north to a, to a new soulmate. Holy crap. Expect some information to come in possibly this weekend, Scorpio. That's not a guarantee. 
That's not a guarantee. So that's pretty powerful right there. Okay, let's go on and pull out the uh, rest of the cards for your reading. Spirit, soulmate. Look at that. You're divinely guided. This is so amazing. You know, if you miss this reading, I feel sorry for you because Scorpio needs this. You need to know what God's got up his sleeve, right? Where's your mind at? Right here. Your mind is right here. Sparks of divine. Number 27. That is up to nine. Wish fulfillment. Joy. Reigniting a divine spark within yourself. Recognizing you're part of all creation. Holy mackerel. Angels are saying to Scorpio, it's really up to you how to how you proceed forward. But the angels are definitely working with you and they are definitely guiding your footsteps and speaking to you. Divine masculine. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 10 in this reading. There's uh, the final 10 though is a good one. Akashic records, everything's being shifted. Someone's is shifting their Akashic records. It doesn't mean somebody's so that... Um, People can't come back in there and just get access to your Akashic Records just because of your birthday. By the way, you pull my, my chart off of any of these, these uh, locations, you're wrong. They're not right. So if you ever pull my chart, how foolish of you, because that stuff is not right. It's not accurate, I guarantee you. Um, and I control my own Akashic Records if you've tried to access mine. Um, you're cursed. I speak it with my own mouth. You have no right. Don't be judging people by their, their record. Now, I can look at your chart that you're living in right now, but then I go deeper. I go into a, a, a more deeper chart for you, um, older, and pull it together to find out what you really need to know, who you are, right? And pu pull some things together that you might not see. That's what I love to do. You are being told by Michael the Archangel this weekend. Recognize the signs that are coming to you. Angels are sending you messages, Scorpio. You're too distracted to notice. Please stay alert. Open to divine guidance this weekend. Who's coming toward you? Let me look. Who's coming towards Scorpio this weekend? Who is it? Show us the energies of who this might be. And then give us a love message. Oh, by the way, Scorpio, I have a sacred blessing spray that I make. It's sacred sanctuary blessing oil. Nagchampa Palo Santo, Reiki Blessed and Empowered. It comes with a meditation and a prayer, a guidance. It's so gorgeous. And you can literally get that off my Etsy shop, Your Wellness 777. Go there and get some. It's wonderful. It's absolutely powerful, actually. Great for your prayers, great for your meditations, great for... Shit, hold on. Great for um, prayers, meditations, cleansing your space, uh, declaring your, um, when you're making declarations to the Most High, purifying your intentions in space. The, it says the divine light within and without become manifest in my life right now. Protect and prepare me to speak and act in a sacred way. I call in all holy energy to support my word today. I ask for a window of light to open portals of delight, purify my intentions in space, and may there be plenty positive results from this blessing spread. Produce natural healing in every way. Thank you for the crown chakra specifically. Oh, by the way, anybody that tries to mince my words, change anything, or shift it, you're also cursed. Okay, thank you. I don't like to curse people, but you do that to yourself because what's going to happen is whatever you try to do with or, you know, you try to do to somebody, it's going to swerve around right back to you because it has no effect on us. We're protected by the Holy Spirit. But I'm not saying that you're doomed forever. I'm just saying, because I want you saved. I'm just saying your behavior is causing you to be cursed. Somebody's getting a blessing here. Um, I don't know why I needed to tell you guys that. It's just so annoying, all the wickedness that's coming. I've, I've endured a lot of witchcraft even serving God, and a lot of it comes from so-called Christians. Do you understand? Okay, so I have a different connection with God and Michael the Archangel and Christ, and it's not quite as, it's not problematic like that, you know? It's blessed. You have somebody coming in with an offer this weekend. You've been waiting for it for a long, long time. This is a Queen of Swords energy. This is communicating discipline, mental discipline, 
facts, logic, reasoning with someone about something long term. Remember, somebody was missing you. They're also um, unable to move on. They're troubled inside. What else for Scorpio? This person. What else for Scorpio? This person. Show me. This weekend. Yeah, they're not happy, but they would like to get victory with you. What does that mean for Scorpio? Yeah. If they can get victory with you, there'll be a whole new whole new life. I don't know what they want. What do they want, Spirit? What does this person want with Scorpio? What do they want? What do they want? They want to come out of their head and have a nice clean start. What else for Scorpio? Yep, yeah, see? And they want to know that this could be a Gemini. They want a clean start or a Leo. What else for Scorpio this, this weekend? Yep, see? This Gemini feels like you've 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 killed them or they want to kill the relationship permanently or something, something. What are they doing? Share with me, Spirit. What is this Gemini doing? What is Gemini's intention here? With Scorpio. What's Gemini's intention with Scorpio? Clears things up, but what are they? What is it? Show me, Spirit. Hmm. Maybe they want to um, help you transform something you've been working on, or maybe their family. What else? They want to put an end to devil energy. They want to put an end to the pain that's been torturing them. What else, please, Spirit? They've been uh, praying for a new star. Who is it? Who is it for Scorpio? So they know who it is. Show me who this is. Oh. This could be a Pisces or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. They've acquired new spiritual skills because of all the loss that they've either created or endured. Yep, see? And they're not in the mood to, to bet. You know, they feel a little off balance. Looks like they might be getting their balance back and understanding something back. What does it mean to you? Yeah, they want to come in and uh, create something that lasts. And one last thing for them this weekend. Oh, shit. Justice. I don't think I like that. Why is justice in reverse for this reading? Why is justice in reverse for Scorpio for this person? They feel like they didn't get justice in the situation. Or they maybe they, I, I don't know, I don't trust it 100% though. It's not like this is a good person coming and they're coming to make an offer. But there are conditions to it, it feels like. Do you think that's fair? Show me, Scorpio. Who is this person? What's their intention? Final intention. They don't have any peace of mind because they know that you're committed or want to be committed. And last but not least. Yep, they can't go on because their heart's still broken. This is a year. You're, you're, ref, you're refusing them. They think that they know that you're single and that you're beautiful and that you've got money coming and you're a star and they feel out in the cold. They feel like they're a soulmate to you, but you're broken up from them because it could be a Gemini in reverse. You feel they were dishonest and they did a lot of gossiping and talking and spying on you and, and did something that hurt you and you want, they want to come back and talk to you about creating, but they aren't, but there's no love here. There's no offer. Do you want them back? No, you don't want them back at all. Two of Swords blocked for, for uh, disappointment. You're disappointed. You don't want that. So show me new love. Show me good stuff coming in. Who can you trust this weekend? Who can Scorpio trust this weekend? Yourself. And yourself. 
your own blind, your own plans, your own guides. There's there's just nobody that's going to be able to fill that for you. Yep, see, that's you. So that's what you're telling you. Let me have a message here. Your dreams need a practical plan if you want them to come out, to finish up. Don't let your past hold you back. All right? The right help will come, Scorpio. Allow me, Divine Beloved, to let go and relax and enjoy the process, knowing that it's safe to offer all to your capable hands. The right actions are being shown, and the right help always comes. That's faith, my babies. Romance message to Scorpio. Express your love. Oh, nice. Okay. And there you are in the bottom of the deck. That's what I have for you. Thank you for liking. Please like. Thank you for subscribing, hitting the all bell so you don't miss my stuff. Thank you for your comments, commenting. Tell me if any of this relates. How do you feel about it? What type of readings you want? Just feedback, huh? Feedback, babies. Oh, look, divine assistance was stuck in the bottom. What? I'm open to receive. Yes, yes, yes. Change me, divine beloved, into one who is willing to receive all the right help. Let me feel deserving of divine assistance in every way. Open me to receive. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I love you. Don't forget to go to the store. Go to the box below if you'd like to get your own personal reading with me. I'd love to read for you and, and encourage you on your journey. Thank you so much, Scorpios and Cross Watchers. Take what you need and leave the rest. Thank you for your presence. Bless you. Bye-bye.